For this video, I'm going to be doing a do-it-yourself bleach tie-dye project. This is something I've never done before, but I've seen so many YouTube videos about how to make your own tie-dye shirts. And since we are still in quarantine, I don't have access to any of the tie-dye materials. So I decided to do it with bleach instead. All I'm gonna be doing is taking old t-shirts and I'm gonna bleach tie-dye them here at home. <laughs> it seems like it's a pretty easy task to do, but since I've never done it before, I am just gonna take you guys through the steps of how to do it. These tie-dye shirts have been kind of trendy. They come in and out of fashion over the years. It would be really cool if I could make my own, so if you're interested, please keep watching. First things first, I'm gonna take you through all the materials that I need to use. Bleach is something that you don't want to mess around with at home because it could ruin different items if it gets on any material that is easily damaged. Um, so what I did was I set up a little table here so that I don't make a mess. I covered up the table with a garbage bag so that it protects any surface that this bleach might splash on. I also picked up a little container that I will be putting my t-shirts in when I actually do the tie-dye bleaching job. Actual materials that I'm gonna be needing are, of course, bleach. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> we have a bottle of bleach and you're supposed to have a spray bottle or a thing with like a triangle tip where you can just squeeze out the liquid. I don't have one of those, so I'm using one of these spray pump bottles that I found lying around. I think it would be okay because that's all we have. You are also going to need a couple of rubber bands. <laughs> Luca, you want my cats there. He's, he's trying to join us in this video. We need a couple of rubber bands and of course a couple of t-shirts that we want to play around with. We'll see a bigger difference between the before and after with a black shirt. So I have this big black shirt. It's very old so I'm okay with experimenting with it. I have another t-shirt here, it's a graphic t-shirt and I wanted to try to see how it would look with a lighter colored shirt, like a pastel colored shirt. So I'm going to use this old beige long sleeve shirt that I have. And the reason why I'm doing three is because I want to do three different styles of tie-dye. So I guess I'm just going to get started. Let's start. <laughs> the portion of bleach and water, it's supposed to be half and half. I'm gonna take the spray bottle and fill it halfway with water and then I'm gonna fill the other half with bleach. Ooh, that was so close. I almost spilled it. For the first shirt, take the center of the shirt, twist it around as if you were making a cinnamon bun. The center of the swirl of the bleach tie dye will be. Once it's all twisted and tight, I'm going to take a few rubber bands and I am going to put them around the shirt like this. And we're going to turn it into a little So I've taken three rubber bands and I've wrapped each of them around to make a pie like this. Then, I'm going to take my protective tray and I'm going to put my cinnamon bun in the middle and then I will proceed to spray every other triangle with the bleach. So we're just going to do this. Flip it upside down. I'm going to do the same on the other side. So I've just sprayed both sides of the cinnamon bun. <laughs> it's only been a couple of seconds and I already see some of the color coming off. So I'm just gonna set this aside and leave it for a few minutes while I do the other t-shirts. This shirt, I'm gonna do a different technique where you just basically scrunch. I'm gonna start a scrunch from this corner and from this corner. Uh, 
while I do that, I am going to try to go around. I'm just gonna move this first, keep it here on the corner. Use the same tray. For one second. Now I'm just gonna spray the bleach. When you're spraying it, you can actually see the color change right away. We are down to our last shirt. This is the shirt that I'm not sure how it's gonna turn out because it is a lighter color, but hopefully it works out anyway. I'm gonna do this one a rolling method. So I'm just gonna take the sleeves, fold it in, and then roll. I'm just gonna roll. Sausage roll, the cinnamon bun, and the scrunchie. <laughs> I'm gonna leave them here to soak for a couple more minutes and then I'm going to rinse each of the t-shirts out to make sure the bleach is all gone and then I'm gonna be showing you guys what the designs turn out to be. Okay, so let's wait. A few minutes later. We are back. Basically set the timer for 15 minutes, but I left these out for 20 minutes. So what I'm gonna do is gonna be the reveal. I'm gonna open up each t-shirt so we can see what happened. <laughs> Let's start with the first t-shirt, the cinnamon bun. Ooh, you guys can see how the color changed. I'm just gonna unravel what I did. Hopefully it looks cute. I'm nervous. First one, second shirt. There's no rhyme or reason to the madness, but let's see what it looks like. Ooh, this looks like a cow, a map. <laughs> it's pretty cool. I like how it's just all over the place. So like the whole entire shirt is just one big tie-dye. Not bad. So what I'm gonna have to do after this is I'm gonna have to wash all t-shirts in cold water once all the bleach is out you're gonna have to put it through the laundry, like a cycle of laundry, just to make sure that it's safe to use, so that it's safe for the skin. Okay, for the third t-shirt reveal, this one looks the most obvious out of all three. The 
Da-da-da. Three strikes going upwards, the design. That's the back. That's the front. Pretty cool. I'm gonna rinse off all three shirts and then I'll come back and I'll show you guys if any changes happen. That was it for my first do-it-yourself tie-dye bleach job. I had so much fun doing it. It was really cool, the anticipation of seeing what the designs would turn out to be. I actually like all three of them in different ways, but I think my favorites were the striped one and the swirly one. I'm gonna show you guys in a different clip how each t-shirt turns out once they're washed. I think the colors are gonna still fade and change a little bit more once you watch them. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you guys learned something. I definitely had fun trying something new for the first time again. If you guys like more videos like this, please leave a comment down below, like this video, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.